Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. Today, we are going to uni. It's quarter to nine, so I'm gonna have to get a move on. I slept in. And then I watched TikToks for like an hour, so thought I'd take you along. You can spend the day with me, see what I do in a normal day. But okay, we made it to uni. I got a park. The traffic was like non-existent. So I made it here in literally like 35 minutes, which is insane. I don't think I've ever gotten here that quickly. That normally takes me an hour and that literally only took me not even half an hour? That doesn't sound right, I don't know, I'm confused. What's the time? 9.32. We are here with enough time to go get some food and a coffee. I haven't had a prac in like three weeks. I haven't actually had any pracs for chemistry. This is like the one and only for the whole semester. My attendance is compulsory. But I was driving here and I got like 10, five, 10 minutes away. Oh, no, it was probably only like two minutes. I'm just dramatic. But I'd left my house, I'd started driving, and I realized that I forgot my lab coat, which is compulsory for the prac. Like, they won't let you into the lab if you don't have your lab coat with you. And it's a compulsory prac for me to pass the subject. So I'm like, well, I'm just going to have to drive home and get my lab coat. And then I got home, and I was really so stressed because I thought I was running late, which turns out I'm not. I'm just stressed for no reason. But thought I was running late so I was already in a rush and then I forgot my lab coat and then I got home and I couldn't remember where I put the lab coat because I washed it and then like I just had absolutely no idea where it was turns out it was under my bed in a lululemon bag why I put it there no one would know like that was the most stupid place to put it like I looked in all of my drawers I looked in my desk I looked like literally everywhere I like tore through my car because I couldn't find it anywhere inside so I was like oh maybe it's in the back seat no under my bed so then i'm coming back i get in the car and then there's like the road that i take because i don't like busy roundabouts they like stress me out so much i don't know why it doesn't matter i don't like roundabouts i avoid them whenever i can but i'm going up this hill and it's like pretty windy and it's like decently steep and i got stuck behind this fucking truck that literally did 30 kilometers an hour the whole way and they were like easily 15 cars like backed up behind it it was basically just creating like so much traffic why it didn't just pull over and like let us all pass i have no idea but i'm also pretty sure that trucks aren't meant to go on that road maybe i'm wrong about that maybe that's just my opinion but yeah basically i'm frustrated and i really don't feel like doing uni today but that's totally fine and i just realized that i have literally zero idea where i'm going I don't even know what side of campus it's on. I texted my friend to see. I really don't think I'm gonna get there on time. Alex just texted me back and she found the room so I do know where I'm going now. I have eight minutes, but I still am gonna go get food. I got my food, I have two minutes. And Alex is already there, so she's already got us a table. Tiny bit of study while I was sitting at Mallow, and now I'm walking through campus. I'm gonna go find Ruby. We don't have very much time because she has a class in like 45 minutes. library i got through three neuro lectures which i was actually really surprised by because that's decently productive for me but they have markets on at uni today so i'm gonna go and suss them out now so i just got back to the car i went past the markets and i got these flowers they're really pretty and initially I just picked like these white ones but then when I like went to the checkout the guy gave me these ones for free he just like added them in literally made my day the plan now is we're gonna drive over to Eden's house I think he's finishing work early I think I'm actually gonna give the flowers to Eden anyway we're gonna hit the road <laughs> Okay, 
He's not picking up. You're broken, you are. Rude? Turn around, but we're still with your eyes closed. Okay, put your hands out. Oh, you got me flowers. I Look at me, I'm such a little, less little chicken. Mm -hmm. Two bouquets in one. I know, I know. Okay, so the story. So I picked the ones that were in the purple, right? Yeah. And then when I went to check out, the guy like gave me the other two for free. I guess they were like clearance ones, but like how nice is that? I got free flowers. No, I got free flowers. Yes. So the plan now, we're going to Woolies. We're gonna grab some food and then we're gonna go up Mount Kutha and watch the sunset for our little picnic. Little picnicker. Little picnicker. <laughs> How gangster is that? Well, I wanted to take cute photos with Keaton, but he's... There's he birdies flying around. I'm filming the birdies flying around. <laughs> Comment whose footage is better, mine or Jess's. But mine's on an iPhone, so that's like unfair. We just wrapped up at the main lookout and we're going to drive to a different one and sit and eat food. Yeah, baby. This is the new spot. This is you can see the sunset through the trees. Through the trees. 